flow. What? We are anchored. And my husband is taking a siesta. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Welcome to Destined to Rome. Yeah. Again. <laughs> today is Good Friday. No, no, no. Today is Good Good Friday because I don't have to work. That's right. Oh, <laughs> what are we going to do today? <laughs> and so we thought we'd just go on a trip because we got three whole days that we can go somewhere. So we are in St. Petersburg and we are headed. Our goal is to get to Lakeland. Mm -hmm. But before we go to Lakeland, we are going to go canoeing. Can you canoe? <laughs> on... Um, what is the name of that river? Hillsboro. Hillsboro River. Yeah, we're going to stop go canoeing there. And then we're going to... Hopefully we get to see alligators. Oh, gosh, yes, please. That would be so cool to show you guys alligators. Then from there, we're going up to Dade City, which is actually north of Lakeland, because we found a really cool little Airbnb that's on the... With, with the Coochie. Coochie <laughs> that's one of my favorite rivers in Florida, it's just Family to say, joke. with the Coochie all over again and again and again. <laughs> but anyway, stay there and spend the night and then go south to Lakeland, and there's lakes there in that little city, and they have swans, which we do not have in we St. Peter's. We have swans and, oh, no, the long, the <laughs> pelicans. <laughs> Don't look like swans. <laughs> the swans, they have um, a really pretty park there, and they have the Frank Lloyd Wright has a bunch, if you know any uh, anything about him, he's a really cool architect back in the 40s and 50s, I believe. He's got a bunch of buildings there in Lakeland, so we want to check those out, too. So we're going to take you guys along. Then we're going to go back to spend the night back at the Airbnb, back up to Dade City, and then we're going to get ready and go to Easter Sunday service on Sunday morning. Yep. Back to Tampa. <laughs> so come travel with us and come worship with us. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> See you so there. So let's have fun. Hey, wait. What? How about... <laughs> you are so excited. <laughs> How about we show them the the uh, sandwich that we're going to make for the canoe trip? That's our favorite. Yes, I love it. California cucumber cooler. Yummo. <laughs> He's going to make it, and I'm going to... gonna shoot me. <laughs> well. Shoot him with this. <laughs> I'm going to video it, because I'm, I'm the great video... <laughs> yeah, that video person. <laughs> Let's go make, make the sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. Okay, two of these. One of these. This... And that, and that, and this, and that. Okay.
front of us. Can you see him? Oh my God, right there. He's in the water, right there in front of us. Right in front of us. Yes. Can you zoom in? Oh. Oh my gosh, he's right there. Better paddle on the left. <laughs> I wonder if he's headed for the bank. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to him. <laughs> paddle on the left. better on the bank because you can see them better. On the bank, got my um, spider uh, bridge there. <laughs> spider, no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and shady and cool. And waiting for my husband to say he's hungry so we can eat our sandwiches. Lunch time, huh? Lunch time, is it? <gasps> oh, <laughs> good, yoo yummo. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in the jungle here. <laughs> That's really good. Ah, oh, refreshing. Mm. It's kind of like eating the great outdoors. So how is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like mm. a, it's like eating a salad between bread. <laughs> so yummy. Really good. And the atmosphere is not too bad either. Like a Saturday matinee jungle book. <laughs>
Thank you, Jesus. Yep, that's it. Awesome. Perfect. Woohoo! Awesome. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Yay! Aww. Well, you made it though. Yeah. <laughs> You're well, not tired, are you? Gee, Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, just finished getting gassed up. Not me because I'm out of gas. We just <laughs> yeah, we both are out of gas. <laughs> came down the canoe area, dragging our hindies. Yeah, two hours, but it's really cool. Yeah. We had a really good time. We're headed 45 minutes to Airbnb, and then we'll catch up with you when we get in there. Yeah. Okay. In the Off the mile, main road. The seeing where the Airbnb is at. Quarter mile, where GPS is. Looking for something kind of off the beaten path. For the code to come in, she's going to send us a code. Let's go around the back and see. Oh, it looks like really pretty grounds. Oh, and there's the river. Oh, nice. Nice big deck. Table and chairs. There's my honey bunny. <laughs> Waiting for the code? Trying to get the code. Okay, cool. This is nice. Oh gosh, it got pretty views. It has pretty views. There's the Wetalakuchi River. Hey, Mr. Cunningham. If you want to come on in into the new Airbnb. <laughs> This place is awesome. Okay, folks, this is, I don't know, an entryway. It's really cool though. Look at, look at that. You can actually feel it. Mosaic. Yeah, nice. And then look at folks, guess what? This is our Airbnb, because you know why? Why? Those, that is a couch we have at our house. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> we don't have it anymore. Uh-oh, cool, cool. Uh, Picture uh, and come on in and look at the kitchen. <laughs> look at this kitchen. Isn't it cute? Ah, I like it. And then we have our choice of bedrooms. We can have the blue room. Would you like the blue room, sir? I do. <laughs> well, would you rather prefer the gray room? Oh, sir, you could have one room and your wife could have the other. <laughs> and then we have a cute, bright blue bathroom. Oh. oh, this is awesome, honey. I really like it. Good job, huh? Yes. Let's go down to the river. Okay. Could it be any more perfect out here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. In a rocking chair. In the evening. Temperature perfect. 
with you. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what they are. Not sure. Turkeys? What are they? They're fat. <laughs> and they don't like me videoing them. <laughs> Mr. Cunningham. Good morning. What are we going to do today? We're going to be in this wonderful weather. And? In the meantime, take a look at that Ooh. river out there. But we can't stay here. <laughs> We're going to take you all over to Lakeland today. We're going to uh, look around Lakeland. There's a Frank Lloyd Wright exhibit there. He, exhibit, he uh, constructed a lot of the buildings on the college over there. He's been noted as and recognized as one of the most famous American uh, architects from early 1900s, 1930, 40, etc. He uh, designed a thousand or more buildings. He's an amazing guy. I think it's one of the largest amount of buildings that he has in any one spot is over yeah. in Lakeland. So that would be kind of cool. Here we are. It's on, it's on their uh, campus, their college campus, I think. So we'll take you all over there and see whatever we else we can see downtown. But we're going to take uh, small roads to get over there. And if we see anything fun, we'll stop and shoot it. Yes. And so. we might go to Walmart because your wife forgot all of her makeup and that's why she's not on camera this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do have lipstick. <laughs> this is called reality, huh? Yeah. This is reality TV. <laughs> Let's get going. I'm okay. cooking. All right. drive in the country road between our Airbnb and Lakeland. There's lots of wildflowers on the side of the road too. I'll try to get some shots of them. Really pretty. What's your name? Uh, I'm Tim Hill. Tim. You lived around here a long time? Um, about 27 years. Okay. I was born in, and uh, raised in St. Petersburg, but then we moved to Brooksville in 1995. Big sweet flowers are gonna be growing when I'm back in the baby's arms again. Is it too dark for you, camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love these old kind of stores. I've got to find something here you want to buy. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, I'm sure there's something here we want. Oh my gosh. Elderberry jelly. <laughs> there you go. A&W root beer. Yes. Build the packing barn again because we used to be a cucumber farm actually. Uh -huh. And we actually also plan to build the train depot with the railroad tracks. Really? Oh, cool. Are you are you part of the Family that owns us? No, ma'am, but she is. Oh, yeah. You are. It was my husband's uncle that owned it. That actually built it and was the postmaster. Yes, How long ago? 1928. 1928. Oh, well, cool. was, the original store was built 1922. Oh my gosh, really? It's technically been a store here since 1922. That's awesome. And that was burned and they built this one in 1928. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 So is it, this is a real post office still? That was our post office. Oh my gosh. And that's the original sign that was hanging in our post office in 1928. No way. That's awesome. Do the, does the postman still come out of here at, at all? or is No, just... we lost that in the 40s because there's only 12 of us back here now. Oh, really? <laughs> it's all rural delivery. But 1910, there was 100 people that lived oh here. Oh my gosh, really? So it was a big community that's back so cool. in the day. Look at that. That is awesome. And like that was the main road from coast to coast. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, not so much the main road anymore. Huh? No. <laughs> we did actually, last time we were here was a couple years ago, we did actually take that road out. So I don't remember where, but yeah, yeah it took us forever. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough road. Yeah, really. How sweet the sound, the sweetest song I know. Amen. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. No sweeter song, no sweeter song could ever be found. I've heard of a fountain filled with blood, it washed us white as snow. But amazing grace, how sweet the sound, the sweetest song I know. <laughs> how about that Tim at the general store? That was a different rendition of Amazing Grace. He did a fabulous job. Great, great man there. You know, it got me thinking. I started reading where Amazing Grace came from. I never really thought about it. It was John Newton back in England. It was uh, 1772. He was a ship captain. He followed in his father's footsteps. And what they would do is sail around Africa and uh, capture slaves and sell them for profit. And he did this for quite a few years. And then one time there was a, a huge storm that caused some of his men to fall overboard and drowned. And it just was a terrifying experience. And he strapped himself to the wheel and he was there for 11 hours steering this, this ship. And he cried out to God and he says, God, have mercy on us. Anyway, he got back to shore finally and that was a, quite a conversion uh, in his life. So he went from slave trader to uh, linking up with a famous uh, abolitionist in England. They stopped uh, slavery just a few years before he died so he was able to see slavery stop and within that he uh, realized what a rich man he was oh honey that's such a good story it sure is you know we are all wretched before we come to know the Lord in one in one way or the other you know and God has offered he offers us the grace to every single one of us and it says in Ephesians 2 8 for by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourself, it's a gift to God. And I really love the translation of, the Passion Translation, it says, For by grace you have been saved by faith. Nothing you did could ever earn this salvation, for it is the love gift from God that brought us to Christ. I just love how it got says a way of stating it. Yeah, the love gift, that's so sweet. And God is offering all of us, every person on the face of this planet, the love gift of His Son. And you can't earn that gift. It is free from God. There's nothing you can do. You can't make yourself better. You can't do any kind of work. 
to get that gift. God is offering it free. And if you don't know Christ, he's saying here, come and know my son and become part of my family. And if you do know him, then just rejoice that you have that free gift from the Lord. Sounds like a gift. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so that does it for this show. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you'll come back na next week and see our favorite show. <laughs> it's called Destined to Rome. Write that down. <laughs> yes, do not forget it. <laughs> we love you guys. See you next week. Next time.